right, y'all. Let's start out with my bro, bro. I'm Dante. Dante went ahead and dropped a banger on us. Why the rapper streamer meta may change. Let's get into this damn video, y'all. Let's do it. Yo, what is up guys? Why the rapper slash streamer method might change. So as you guys seen, Aiden Ross, Playboy Cardi had a stream. And just like all of you, I was waiting as well. I had a sponsored stream last night surrounded around the Grammys, no flex. And out of nowhere, people no, started no spamming me. Aiden tweet, Aiden tweet, Aiden tweet. Aiden had tweeted he's gonna be going live with Playboy Cardi. And just like many others, I doubted it. I said, cap, that's not happening. But as people began to talk and as more things went on and more tweets came out, someone tweeted he paid 50K to have him on stream. Hey, listen, Dante. You know, I you know, I was actually thinking about doing this. I should give me a little snack bar. I should put a little snack bar underneath this desk. <laughs> like you got the pop tarts, the Funyuns, the Cheetos. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the little mini fridge. I may need that. W idea. Things went on and more tweets came out. Someone tweeted he paid 50k to have him on stream. And then Aiden replied to the tweet and said more like two mil, um, a car, a baby, a dog, and all, like, like all types of shit. And that's when everything was circulating that, okay, maybe this might I'm actually need, be true. I'm even need me that. in the stream, I, thought, I was like, okay, maybe this is actually Especially happening. But even if room? this is happening, what are we expecting from Cardi? I had a prediction of how I thought the stream was going to go. And this was no shade. It was just like, when do we see Cardi do anything? Ever. Sure. I'm not gonna lie, sure. chat. Is that worth it to get Cardi on your stream? Just for Cardi to be on your stream and be like, and you know Aiden gonna be like, so like, like how's it feel like to be in your era right now? Like in your in your you know, in your zone right now. Like everybody's going crazy with your with your new songs, everything that you drop in, anything that you drop over a mil easily overnight. And he's gonna be sitting there like tight like it's just like I not don't too much. It's, it's too much on my on my body. Uh Okay. Uh, so what is your inspiration for your, like how you dress? I feel like a lot of people, you know, emulate, like if someone dresses a certain way, they just know it's your style. It never do type shit. It's on my body. It's on my body. I got, I walk in the store. I'll be like, whole black, whole black cut. It's like, <laughs> it's like cord. Don't even think about it. Yeah, Dante kind of getting this on point. <laughs> He's kind of doing this well. It's like the card. I don't even think about it. Shit, I tell, shit. My account called me, said, you spent too much on clothes. At least change the color. I said, bitch, call my line. I paid two million dollars cash in a Rari. I paid two million dollars cash in a Rari, and we can't even hear you talking to the mic, bro. But oh my god, oh my god, the stream was worse than that. The, the, the stream was worse than I could have thought, and anybody else probably could have thought. Now look, I'm a Cardi fan, but I don't know like his whole like I don't know every per person on his payroll. So he comes in with a whole group of niggas, and they just dance him. They dance for like three songs. Some white girl was in the camera like this. Yep. Yo, I forgot my camera was even on. This is like, even yep. watching this back is hard, bro. At it's, this point, they were just, there's literally just music playing. It's bro. cringe. Aiden, there's nothing in that cup, man. That, that shit's empty, dog. <laughs> that shit's empty, dog, bro. He's been drinking at, he's been drinking at that cup for the last five minutes. Oh my God. I feel for him, though. I feel for him, though. You can't even see shit. Cardi's request, by the way. I said on Twitter, if I was Aiden for two mil, I would lock that nigga in the cage. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Staying right here for with sure, me. Sure. Oh, Aiden seems like such a nice person. Like this is uh, like, is this mic on? Y'all want to react to some shit? <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn, they're just ignoring the him. They're just ignore. Uh, oh no! And it's like it's like you gotta know. Like I know you you want to be mysterious and stuff like that, but it's like you gotta know. Like I don't know how I forgot how old Cardi is, but I'm pretty sure he's still young. It's not like he's 47, bro. He knows how this stuff works, bro. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Back to the studio. 2024 music. You leave right now? Yeah. All right, hold on, let me mute real quick. Bro, you know this, you know the old saying when people are like, when people are trying to leave and they're like, well, Time to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> like they're trying to announce their exit. I think this is the new one, bro. Well, Gotta get back to the studio. To the studio. Right. I'm glad he stood his ground though and didn't let him get all the money, but to pay him anything for that, to pay him anything period is insane, but I just feel for him. This is like the worst thing ever. And it's not even on Aiden's part, bro. It's right. all on Cardi. Like right. dude, all you had to do was like, 
just be a human. Take the goddamn mask off, dude. That, that's I do agree with that. Like all, at least some type of interaction. Like I'm not the biggest Aiden fan, but at least it is I can say if if he he gonna get people to come to the stream, he's gonna pay these people to make sure that they make these appearances and stuff like that. But the fact that he even went as far as two mil in cash. A Rari and a private jet for this nigga to come out and this is what it is you do. That's trash, bro. Yeah, that's that's trash. That's trash. That's trash. It's awkward. Y'all ain't even pay him no mind and whatnot. Y'all looked at this nigga as like a lick. And then Aiden's here, sitting there apologizing and shit. It's like, gang, this wasn't even your fault. He do some questionable things, but and within this in this situation, that wasn't even his fault. He did everything it is that he needed to do. That is all on Cardi. So that's this trash. Mind you, Aiden has already been waiting for like, it, it's, it was like two and a half hours, three hours of waiting. He was there and then left and then came back. Y'all yeah, gonna be honest, this whole like mystique thing that a lot of these rappers and artists are doing is corny. I, I've been thought it was corny, but I hope this shows other artists that like, this shit is not cool. Like it, it, maybe there's a reason why these niggas don't post anything. Don't like doing interviews. Maybe they're actually weird. Yes. They're either actually weird or this is the persona that they want to give off. I, I think this is the persona that Cardi wants to give off. I mean, he was texting Aiden like, yo, I, I want an entrance song. He wanted an entrance song and then he was going to do a lap around the ring or something. But like, I feel like a lot of these artists think they are above just being a regular human being. Correct. So much so that they can't even have a conversation with regular human beings. The way he did Aiden was mad disrespectful. Instead of taking this opportunity to show his fan base how down to earth he is relatable he is how cool he is mm -hmm. talk about his music coming up he wore a mask and clapped his hands you know what yeah. i am happy about though i do like the fact that his fans even his fans are looking at cardi like yo bro what like what the hell was that like that right. was cringe it was awkward right. to watch it right. made me uncomfortable if you check his instagram account his messages are it's now getting else. flooded with l you're weird you scammed Aiden. And I'm glad that more people are seeing like just how corny this is. So hopefully we get less of this. Maybe we like, maybe we start to get more artists that are actually just act like regular people. Maybe Correct. they see, okay, maybe this mystique thing is kind of cringe. Maybe it's kind of corny. Maybe it's run its course, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get it. Some people are like generally off the radar. Genuinely just. Yo, shout out with the 22 months. You said I need a vacation. Me too, bro. Don't use social media. Doing pretty good. And it's not for an that? image or publicity stunt. Like they just really just don't be on that stuff. But I feel like some people do that for the image to enhance mystery, <laughs> mystique. Meanwhile, you got people like Tizo Touchdown, who's on a FaceTime that... call with his fans on like the eighth day straight. You just said that you've been speaking to your fans for eight days straight. That's yeah. a beautiful thing. Like, they're probably on the phone right now. Matter of fact, I, I mess with that. <laughs> Hey fans. <laughs> eight days straight, y'all. Look, look, bonnet on. You feel yeah, me? yeah, eight days straight. Now, I'm not saying you gotta go that far, but I I'm just saying, bro, like, bro, just talk. It's that easy. And right. what really worries me, what really worries me is that I'm wondering if more artists are now gonna be thinking, like, wait, hold on. He was there for like 10 minutes and got like two mil. But to be mm. fair, Aiden did say that he didn't get all the money, but t a, a little bit out of two mil is still a lot, bruh. And I'm wondering if these other artists are going to watch this and be like, bro, hold on, hold on. These people have been going on these streams for free. Wait, you mean to tell me I can get paid for this? I feel like people are no longer going to see it as like a just something cool to do. They're going to see it as like a gig because that's exactly exactly. I was afraid that, that I, I was afraid of this. But that may be true. Now you're going to get all of these artists coming in to be like, oh, I want to be on Kai's stream. Oh, I want to be on Aiden's stream. Oh, I want to be on this particular person's stream. And it's not even just for the fact of it. It's like on some chill shit. Like, yo, like, I rock with you. This is and this, blase, blase. It is going to be strictly off of just money monetization purposes. And then that just destroys the level of just having them on the stream in the first place. You know? And like streaming, uh, and you know, especially being on like Twitch, Kick, or whatever platform, has turned into like the our one hundred six in Park, our you know internet version of a one hundred six in Park. If y'all remember, remember that or not. But the fact is of like now, this may be an imagery that is that our other artists will look at it and be like, I bet you know, cool. If I go to this person's shit now, I'm expecting some type of payment now. Oh, this is a gig. Now I could able to do this. This is going to be bad work. 
basically how Cardi was treating it. Like it was a side gig, bro. Dude came, performed like three songs, shook Aiden's hand, hugged him, whispered into the mic, got his money and left. And now I'm wondering if there's about to be a shift, if more artists are gonna start demanding that they get paid something. I mean, as if being on a streamer stream that gets hundreds of thousands of viewers in there live concurrently is not enough. I feel like Correct. I, I feel like that's a fair trade, but I feel like now they're gonna be feeling like they're the table. What is the streamer doing for me? Oh, Savage called me. Yo. Bro, two million dollars, bro? What? He didn't get the full two mil. A million? He, stop it, bro. No. Bro, why the fuck you ain't pay me, bro? That's crazy, bro. You, you're I fucking. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's fucked up, bro. Brother, I was gonna buy you cars and shit. What the fuck do you mean? Bro, two million dollars for six minutes, bro. He didn't get paid that. Bro, you paid for six minutes. No, I didn't. Well, I, I kind of. Bro, I just seen you give him a bag of cash. Okay, but bro, guess what? He's not, bro. Uh, trust me, you and I are gonna make more money together like this. Okay, you're gonna make you and me are gonna make more money like this. Bro, we gotta have a talk when I see you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, twenty one. That's kind of trash. That's trash for even just. I don't, I don't like that neither. Like, yeah. So you looked at that nigga. It was just like, oh, so he getting paid. Aiden, it was stuff like that. I see why it is when it comes down to employment. The niggas don't want to talk about with wages and stuff because that, that's already a conversation within itself. So that's what yeah, that was that's what 21 was saying. Yeah. That that's a problem. That is that is a problem. Cause now now at this rate, like you're not even looking at the nigga on some genuine shit. You're looking at him as a bag. So that I'm mm, 21, that doesn't look good for you. Bro, you and I will make more money together than him and he just made it six right, minutes. Right, I wouldn't I even fuck with the nigga right, anymore. Call me when you done streaming, bro. Okay, I got you, Savage. That's why I was thinking. Nigga talk about something, call me when you done streaming as if, like, he's owed some money. That's a le level of entitlement that's fucking nuts to me, gang. You're not owed any type of money. I mean, the fact that it is that Aiden has gone as far as giving niggas cars, you know, private jets and stuff like that, that's already enough within itself. But the fact that you are saying, call me when it is that you done, like you talking to this nigga like you, like, like, you, like he's your son or some shit. That's weird to me. That's a little thing. It's little better weird. to just get people you actually vibe with more than trying to get people that are just popular. And that would bring a lot of viewers. Yeah, a lot of viewers is cool. Yeah, for that moment, for the artists that they're coming for. But in reality, people just want to see a good stream if they really like you as a Correct. streamer. So that's why it's like, I think it's better if you go in with a person you already vibe with. Like, he, he had a stream with Chris Brown. They were vibing. Chris Brown was just acting like a regular person. A normal dude. He had a stream with Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. It was just natural. Everything was natural. Nothing seemed forced. It wasn't awkward. And I feel like when you get more streams like that, it makes it more genuine. It yeah, makes Dante the experience understands. more fun for both people. The streamer and As far as I'm concerned, I know I'm stopping a bit, but you know. Like, as far as I'm concerned, Dante started out when it came down to doing reactions with music. And plus, he knows quite a bit of rappers and artists and everything like that. So he under... If anybody doesn't understand, it's going to be Dante. So the fact that it is, like, again, I, I don't... I look at 21 a little differently now because it's just like, nah, you... Now you looking at this nigga like as, as in a check or a bag. Like, isn't the shit's not even just genuine anymore. But the, overall, yes. You do want to stay relatively with people it is that rock with you, period, in general. But it's the same thing within the stream. You know, if people will fuck with your content as a streamer, you bringing on somebody is just going to be just a bonus. It's just like, hey, listen, I already watch Aiden streams. I already watch Kai streams. I already watch this particular person's streams. You know what I'm saying? Them bringing on another person. I right, cool. It's going to bring in an influx of new people. But if you're already a viewer of said streamer, it's just it's nothing to do that. But it's. It's so weird. It's 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 getting and weird. the audience watching. Also, it's just a good look for the artist if you're just a genuine person having a casual conversation, showing that you actually have a sense of humor. Twenty One Savage, for example. I mean, aside from the the scamming part, but I feel like him on stream with Aiden and, and Kai and stuff like that has showed that. Wait, okay, he's actually like a funny person. Like he seemed like he would be cool to be around, and like until we start gambling or something like that. I think that made people mess with him more. I mean, until he did the weird, I know, until he did the weird, it's just the most recent example. But I'm glad to see that there's an opposite effect, that if you go on stream with your mystique shit that you do online, people are gonna find you corny, and they're gonna call you out for it. Cardi yep. was just doing so well. Everybody, like, 
was on him. He's dropping single after single after single. Everybody on it. We don't know nothing like what's going on behind the scenes. He does this stream immediate flip. Why yep. this this portrayal, bro? Whatever this portrayal is, man. And for two mil, bro, I would have dragged his ass right back. Yo, my nigga, is you defective? Like, talk to me. Talk to me. Hello? Two mil down a goddamn drain. I genuinely feel bad because it's like you can see Aiden was really, really trying to make this work. He was. Trying to have a conversation with him. He would say things Cardi wouldn't acknowledge. Or he'd say something, try to start a conversation. Cardi just whisper one, two words back. But yeah, I'm really curious to how, like, moving forward, rappers are going to react to coming on streams. Because, I mean, even, even 21 Savage called him. To be fair, you paid yourself, 21. But yeah, I don't know how... Cardi is going to recover from this one. I'm pretty sure some people are probably not going to care once he drops his next single. But now it's just like, now it's just like a side eye looking at him. It's like, yeah, his mm -hmm. music is still good. And we like, I feel like people already, already knew he was weird, but that still doesn't excuse the behavior, bro. All the right. real part is rappers getting on streamers streams now. Will they be demanding a paycheck, a paycheck per hour or something like that? Man? Right. Oh, I would hope shit. not. Maybe just only have people that you, you know, you build a connection with who you would consider like you're cool with rather than trying to get the biggest names the the most mysterious people who don't do no interviews maybe there's a reason why they don't bro maybe they're just boring as hell that boring too. and weird as hell that too. And that's just it that's that's true that's true that's true that is true we play hard there you go all right but, hey listen shout out to my bro dante for Giving us that video, and I absolutely 1,010% agree with him. So this, mm, not filing taxes. Hey, listen, don't don't remind me about taxes. I I gotta do mine. And now it is like I'm on YouTube now doing this shit. <laughs> and then the IRS is just like, yeah. So you making money now? Now you gotta pay. Hey, listen, Dante, bro. Shout outs to you. I will see you soon. Shout outs to y'all in the chat, and shout outs to you at home. I will catch y'all in the next video.